Good evening. Someone once said, a great leader's courage to fulfill his vision comes from passion, not position. When Henry Tremere was asked to lead Genzyme in 1983, the two-year-old company was considered a modest entrepreneurial venture at best. That would soon change. Under Henry's direction and vision, Henry's courage and determination would lead to countless breakthroughs in research and strategic acquisitions that would strengthen Genzyme's foothold in the biotech industry. Events that would expand Genzyme and raise its status to one of the most admired companies throughout the world. But there is much more to Henry's story than Genzyme's staggering trajectory of growth. His incredible story of leadership and achievement goes well beyond position and prestige at a world-renowned company. His deep passion for innovation, constant pursuit of perfection, and commitment to helping others are legendary throughout New England. Henry is a uh, pioneer and a problem solver. He has been instrumental in developing treatments for patients with rare genetic diseases. And he has been praised for his many contributions to the biotech and healthcare fields. Henry is also actively involved in developing policies and innovations that have led to easy of access to healthcare for many throughout the world. Currently, Henry serves on the board of directors of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America. He is a director of Massachusetts General Hospital, a board member of Partners Healthcare, and a member of the Board of Fellows of the Harvard Medical School. In addition to his work in the healthcare and biotech industries, Henry has also played an integral role in shaping our local economy in Massachusetts. He was appointed by Governor Deval Patrick to serve on the Council of economic advisors. And I've had the distinct pleasure of working with Henry on the Federal Reserve Board Bank of Boston, where Henry serves as chairman. Henry's story is truly unique, but it can be best be told by his friends and colleagues who have worked closest with him. Henry's dynamic, he's outgoing, he's perceptive, I would describe him as one of the most intelligent, creative, principled people I've, I've ever met. Henry is a visionary leader. He's a person who looks to solve problems, both for his company, but also for the Boston business community at large. Henry, through Genzyme, has transformed people's lives. He's saved lives. He's changed lives. He's made it possible for people with what otherwise would have been debilitating conditions to lead normal lives. This is a gift of immeasurable significance. Henry not only runs Genzyme, but he's involved here at MIT at the Federal Reserve, and I think he does that both out of his personal uh, curiosity, his remarkable intellect, and his uh, interest in these issues. He agreed to come onto the Federal Reserve at a very turbulent time, and he's provided leadership through very insightful questions and leading us in a direction of being willing to take uh, a few risks in order to get the right economic outcomes. Who would have imagined 20 years ago, frankly even 10 years ago, that a company like Genzyme could have succeeded? And Henry created a new reality for biomedicine, for biomedical businesses, and frankly for the patients afflicted with these really terrible diseases. I think he has a passion for doing what's right. And it's doing what's right for his shareholders, but it's also doing what's right for the community that he's in. He always asks questions that he hadn't thought of before and never would have guessed that he, he would ask. And so he always keeps you on your toes and keeps you thinking. He really is a great leader. And a great leader not just for his business, but also for the greater Boston community. He has great relationships with people in industry and academia and education and government and has really helped make the life science community here greater than the sum of its parts. He's a man of the future.
thank you so much, uh, John. Uh, great comments. And um, I hope that you uh, sent in, uh, the notes to uh, Carl Icahn. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> because uh, uh, he didn't get the picture yet. <laughs> But it is, it is great to be, uh, to be here. It's great to be honored in this way. And it's great to be among all of you uh, in this very special way with Regina and Flash and, and all of you uh, in this community. Because our great fortune is our community. Uh, I think Regina made the comment about innovation, about what's possible. And uh, it is indeed true that we have an incredible gift an incredible amount of fortune that is among us, that we are all a part of, that we are all sharing and utilizing and building from and building on top of, that allow us to reach uh, a sense of future that is quite unusual. We may get used to that here because we are living here. But when you get out of here, you see it is different. The ambition in this state, in this city, in this environment is extraordinary. The ambition to do things at the absolute top of the class level is extraordinary. And the knowledge that it is necessary to do things at the absolute top of the class level is shared, is understood and the ambition to get on with it and to figure out new ways to get things done is something we all live for. So it is great to be among you. And I had the fortune to be developing with now 12,000 other people, our company that had the fortune in the beginning of our development to find something that helped a horrible disease be treated in a new way, in a good way. And from that learning came the thought that it is possible. It is possible to go in places where nobody yet has been. And it is actually admired. It is actually something that's right to do. And the ambition is not inappropriate. It's not a dream, an uh, inappropriate dream or fantasy. It's something that's needed and appropriate and something that's doable, and something, since it becomes doable and so very worthwhile, becomes also a sense of responsibility. We have a responsibility in this area to do things well, to do new things, to invent new things, to invent new things of, of, of working together, like we did in the healthcare reform uh, movement. But there's a long ways to go, an incredible long ways to go, and we have to continue to innovate together in the way that we have done over hundreds of years now. I am very, very proud, very honored uh, to be here among you, to be here with Regina and Flash, and to be here uh, to be featured in this way. But I accept this honor very much in the spirit of our community, the innovation that we all have, uh, the opportunity to utilize and to bring forward so thank you very much for being here. Thank you for giving me a chance to be on the soapbox for a few minutes uh, and to, uh, and to uh, make these comments. Thank you so much. <laughs>